What's up guys, it's your boy Roby Gaming and I am back for season 2. I hope you guys are ex as excited and as stoked <laughs> as I am for this season. I am so excited to see Justin Herbert play and just all the rookies. Josh Allen, the outside linebacker, he makes a couple big hits in this game. But let's just get introduced into this game. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. And I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers. I am back and I am so excited to just see how this team can perform in their first week together. Panthers being a pretty good team. I believe they made the playoffs last year. And on a second and seven here for the Carolina Panthers, they find DJ Moore over the middle for the first down and about 18 yards, almost 20. And as you can see, our DBs have not gotten any better, I guess. We got rid of Richard Sherman, if you remember. And we made a few, we made a lot of trades, I should say, this offseason. And I just want to show this user play by myself, Adrian Colbert, with a great play. But I did forget before this game to move our rookie Jonathan Abrams to safety, so I do that after that play. But here comes Justin Herbert, the future of our team, pretty much. And we cannot rush him into anything. We, we we're rushing him into starting position, but we can't, like, just rush him into just throwing a bunch of passes every game. So we got to be able to pound the ball and, and just hope that our defense can get stops. But on the next play, I believe that Solomon Thomas rips the ball out, and that is Reuben Foster on the recovery. And the 49ers are in great field position, and they're putting their rookie quarterback in a great spot to be able to just be comfortable and play football. On the first down after the turnover, Jarek McKinnon gets the ball, and he runs up the field for about 14 to 15 yards for a 49ers first down. Justin Herbert under center, dropping back to throw for his first pass of his career, drops it off short to Dante Pettis, and that is a first, not a first down, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying first down with Jared McKinnon, I guess. But on the third and seven here, Justin Herbert hot routing a few players. Kyle Shanahan giving him that luxury to be able to do that if he sees something in the defense, and he fires it for a first down. Down, and we are at the one yard line handed off to our big money freaking running back I guess for a touchdown I did not say the F word and I don't even get money so I can't get them monetized for that but anyways <laughs> I do not know how Funch just got so open I, I just don't I don't know we're in man to man but that is the end of the first quarter um, like I have said for the past few episodes or when we played last year we are usually always ahead in the f end of the first quarter it's just the third and fourth quarter that ruin us honestly but on um, the next play or after the after we start the second quarter Kim Newton finds Greg Olson for a first down, and he is in sh the shotgun right now, and he that was just way too easy for him. Wide open, Roberts for the touchdown. We're in Tampa 2, or Tampa coverage, and obviously that was just a little too easy. Our safety had to cover three people on the left side, or two people on the left side, and that's just not fair, honestly. But... Justin Herbert dropping back to throw and he finds Dante Pettis over the middle having the presence of mind to just step up in the pocket is a great sense of just knowing what to do on the football field for the rookie but Jarek McKinnon we're getting used to that already and Justin Herbert dropping back to throw and he sees a lane and he's just going to take off and run for it for his first touchdown of his career Justin Herbert Let's congratulate the man, give him a pat on his helmet, whatever you want to do. But that is the end of the first half. 
and I will see you guys at the start of the second half, which is now. But Gano with the kick, and Campbell, our fifth-round rookie receiver, drafted, returns it, and he he's got a lane. Campbell, he's going down the sideline, and he gets tripped up. But that still puts our offense into great field position on a third and four here. I was really wanting to throw it deep to Kittle, but I didn't. I, I restrained and I dump it down to Pettis for the first down, and it is second and five here. And we hand it off to McKinnon, and he goes untouched for six. That's another touchdown for Jack McKinnon on the season. I believe that's number two, and 21 to seven here in Candlestick Park in San Francisco. And look at Jaquiski Tart making that play. Not letting Olsen get anywhere farther or any further down the field. But Cam Newton, play fake. Ruben Foster read it all the way. He's dropping back to throw. Or he's dropping back and not to throw to hopefully pick off a pass. But Cam Newton did not throw the ball because no one was open. Somehow gets first down, but that did not matter. And they punt it to us. And look at Justin Herbert. He's showing supreme confidence in himself right now. 10 for 11, 89 yards. And he's dropping back to throw once again, and he sees Marquise Goodwin for the first down on the curl route. That's just a little too easy of a read for the rookie. Looks like the 49ers, are, they are dropping back once again, and he fires it underneath to Greg Kittle. They're just giving him any and all throws. They're just making it way too easy on the rookie right now. But that is the end of the third quarter. And we are up 21-7. to Will we be able to keep this lead? Or will we screw it up somehow like we have been lately in the fourth quarter? Let's hope that this rookie quarterback is the real deal and keeps it going for us. I am back and it is a second and 21 for the 49ers. Justin Herbert sensing his first pressure of his career and he gets sacked for the... I think actually that was the second time he got sacked earlier in the game or the play before I believe and that ha we had nothing going on that possession but they went for it on fourth and three as you saw we stopped them and we are in great field position we if we score a touchdown here games easily over and who else but Greg Kittle to catch the ball for Justin Herbert 13 for 15 123 yards for the rookie he's having one heck of a game but got nothing going had no momentum on that drive and Robbie Gold hasn't missed an extra point and ha didn't miss that field goal so he, he's perfect on the year so far we can say that at least but on the next possession the Panthers are really just going fighting for pride right here Newton finds Greg Olson over the middle he drops back to throw once again and he's looking and he finds Christian McCaffrey on the sail route and the Panthers are cooking with grease right now they're they're just Torching, torching our defense right now and who else but Cam Newton to just scramble out of the pocket and then float it out perfect pass on the run for the touchdown and that pretty much does it but we need a first down to completely seal it and who else but Jarek McKinnon to get the first down to win us the game that was a great performance by that was a whole great team effort great performance in the first week to come out with the W 24-14 49ers and I am very excited with how our offensive line played they only allowed two sacks one or two sacks I believe Herbert had a pretty solid debut no touchdowns but he'll get that eventually Jerick McKinnon great game for him 4.9 yards a carry uh, very excited for him this year I'm expecting at least a thousand yards from him maybe hopefully even more but Jaquiski Tard had a good game. Carl Granderson, their rookie for the Panthers, had a pretty good game. Good, really good debut, I should say. Two sacks. And then we had only one turnover that we recovered. We forced two fumbles, but the one Solomon Thomas forced is the one we recovered. And then Ruben Foster recovered it. But I am very excited. I've said that so many times in this video. I'm sorry. But um, as you can tell, I'm very excited. And I'm going to try to get this Cardinals game out to you as soon as possible. We just need everyone in our league to play, which is still just shady films. X knows best and I. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Share the video. Show your friends. Turn on those post noties. And click the like button, please. It really helps the channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Roby Gaming, and I'm signing out. Peace.